Hey brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel. Brothers and sisters, I just want to quickly share this word with you to whoever you are who is currently in the waiting season. Uh, if you're new here, you may not know this, but uh, for me, uh, the story of Joseph is that story in, in the Bible for me. The Lord used the story to minister to me for many different reasons. And whatever I go through in the Bible, somehow I find courage in the story of Joseph. Now, uh, we know the story of Joseph. We've ended up uh, summarizing it as the guy who went uh, from the pit to, to, to the palace, the guy who was uh, who went through all those uh, terrible things and then ended up in the palace. From the pit to the palace, that's how we summarize it. But I want to bring you guys uh, to this. Uh, I want to bring your attention to this just small detail in the Bible. You see, um, in chapter uh, Genesis chapter 40, what happens is that that's when uh, um, um, uh, Joseph is in prison and he interprets the dreams of the cupbearer uh, uh, and the other guy. And, and, and then they are released as per um, uh, Joseph's interpretation. And then he asked the cupbearer not to forget him, right? And it ends uh, saying, but the cupbearer forgot him. That's chapter 40. Now let's go to the very first line of chapter uh, 41, the very first verse, what does it say? And two full years later, and two full years later, brothers and sisters, that's 24 months, 24 months, two full years. It didn't say two years, it said two full years later. You see, we go to these stories, but because we've seen the beginning and we've seen the end, we go to God and we pray and we say, God, you are the God who did it for Joseph. You are the God who did it for Moses. You are the God who did it for Isaac. You are the God who did it for Sarah. You are the God who did this for this and this and this person. But brothers and sisters, how about the little pieces, the times, in the Bible that we are not accounted for. What goes on during that time? You see, what I find that we as people of faith do is that we tend to be very hard on ourselves. During the times when we are in our weight and we are feeling weary and we are feeling um, beat down and we are feeling defeated, what we end up doing is we let ourselves be defeated by the fact that we are defeated. We end up making ourselves punching ourselves and, and rebuking ourselves for that. But I just want to say to you, my brother and sister, try and imagine what Joseph might have gone through. We don't know anything could have happened in that two years. Was there a time in that two years when he asked God, God, why? Why God? Was there a time when he wondered, will this ever end? Was there a time when things were falling apart and he said, God, just take my life? I don't know. But what I want to say to you, my brother and sister, the Bible is there for you to give you hope. The Bible is a word of God and it has, it is alive. But there is also missing gaps in it. There are times that are not accounted for. It's like a diary. Sometimes you don't feel like writing in your journal. Sometimes you don't want to, take, like me, pick up the, uh, the, 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 uh, the camera and record a word. What happens during those times? What happens during those, time, those times? So what I am here and I'm trying to say to you is, I don't know how you are feeling right now, but don't let that feeling sink you further down. I don't know what you're feeling right now, but just don't let that feeling uh, cause you to feel even more wary. I don't know what you're feeling right now, but don't say others were more faithful and they held on uh, fir firmer than you. You don't know what they went through when they went um, to sleep at night. You don't know what the words they said to the Lord as that pillow hit that um, so the head hit that pillow. Remember, remember what, um, uh, what, uh, what's her name? Not now, what, what, what Ruth, was it Ruth? Or Ruth, or Naomi, Naomi, I think it was Naomi. What Naomi said, she said, don't call me Naomi, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because the Lord has dealt bitterly with me. We go through that, but you you can go through those days, and, 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 and when you go through those days, remember the God you serve. Get up, get up, because he will not change his story. He will not start 
changing his story with you. Yes, the times are tough. Yes, the days get, um, the days when, when, when you feel like giving up. But the most important thing is that you shouldn't give up. You better make sure you hold a conviction in your heart that yes, I may be weary, but my God, my God is a promise keeper. My God is not a man such that he would lie. I may be the one who may be faltering. I may be the one who sometimes is being blown by the wind, but not my God. His word stands firm. His word is everlasting. His word is never moving. His word is anchored. And he will make sure that it comes to pass. So um, I, I, I don't want to come here and, and act like I'm this person. You know, some people always say, how do you continue to have faith? Because I look, I look for favor in the smallest of things. I look for favor in the things that you might maybe think are a given. I praise the Lord and I say, oh, the favor of God chases me because uh, maybe I managed to put on electricity. I say the, the favor of God chases me when something unexpected happens in my life. That's how I manage to hang on so that I can make sure I reach the promise right ahead of me. Brothers and sisters, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. But just keep your eyes on the one who created you. He's not a liar. Oh, not our Lord. He is not a liar. And the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Our God, there, right there, is where you should keep your promise. Be blessed, brothers and sisters, and have a lovely day. All these I say in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.